If you're looking for a last minute summer trip, Mexico is calling. It's a short flight away. It's beautiful and it's the number one international destination searched on the Travel Zoo website. We love going to Mexico. Travel expert Gabe Sagley is here to break it all down for us. Gabe, you have two affordable destinations yep. you're going to tell us all about. But first, we have got to chat about safety because there are so many stories in the news. Yep. People are often freaked out. Even when people find out, Brandon and I travel there all the time and they're like, oh, is that safe? Break it down for us. So, great question. And we need to ask these questions no matter where we go. And, of course, we watch the news. And Mexico is a, is a news item uh, that does pop up. Uh, I went on an anniversary trip with my wife to Cancun last month. That was the first thing she thought about. She was concerned all the way through the end. And we, we still managed to go and have a great time. Um, the, here's a fact. Uh, the State Department has a four-tier system to advise us, no matter where we're going, uh, within the U.S., internationally, about safety concerns, whether or not you should go. Of the 36 states in Mexico, six are on the level four. That's, they're not recommending any travel there. They tend to be uh, inland destinations, not resort towns. The places we'd like to go to, Los Cabos, Cancun, Mexico City, they are at a level two, just like Spain, the UK, France, Italy. So at the end of the day, that means a level two is exercised increased caution. Uh, and we should be doing that no matter, no matter where we go. So I think if we go to these resort destinations uh, and we play it safe and we do some homework ahead of time, like, for example, arranging transportation through your resort from the airport to your hotel, uh, then you sort of elevate the safety factor quite nicely. Um, and uh, all these destinations have really invested over the last couple of years a lot of money and worked in, a, in sort of in a public-private sector uh, uh, function to make sure that uh, things like security cameras are upgraded, security personnel has been ramped up. Uh, and in, and the, if, for those of us who have been there a couple of times, and I was there twice last month, uh, definitely feel like it's a safe place to go. But you've got to have your wits about you and, and, uh, and prepare. Of course. I didn't even know that those levels... Those numbered levels yeah. existed. And actually, no matter where you go, I'm going to Europe uh, with my family in a, uh, in a couple of days, and we're looking at those levels for some of these, even these very classic European destinations, just to know what's going on and how the news of the day may have changed things yeah. many times, for the better, ideally, since we were there uh, last. Great information to have. So what destinations are you looking at? Right so, now. you know, we were looking at that beautiful video of uh, these beautiful beaches down Gorgeous. there. The beauty of being in Houston is that you can actually access pretty much any of these great destinations in, in, uh, in Mexico quite, quite easily. Let's talk about Los Cabos. Um, I was there uh, last month. Los Cabos, by the way, they've got a fantastic public-private partnership with it, where they've invested $50 million in safety uh, protocols over the last five years. The numbers to Los Cabos have ramped up. You know, January, February, 42% jump in, in air passengers compared to 2019 pre-pandemic. So they, uh, this is a a very popular destination on a lot of new uh, hotels. The Villa del Arco Beach Resort uh, is on Medano Beach. You know, only 43% of the beaches in, in Los Cabos are swimmable because it's where the Sea of Cortez meets the Pacific. So the waters churn and they're very energetic. You've got some riptide concerns. So you want to find uh, ideally a beach that's swimmable, but even, even if not, it's, these are gorgeous uh, beaches and you're using these hotel pools. But this place is on a swimmable beach called Medano Beach, uh, very close to Cabo San Lucas, where you've got some great nightlife. You've got some, a great marina. You can do some Great sports fishing, uh, and the rate there five ninety five for three nights per couple with breakfast in the morning. Uh, so an alternative to the all inclusive uh, reality, but you can also most of these will actually offer you that as an option to upgrade so that all your drinks and all your meals are in fact included. And it's nice to have breakfast at the hotel because yes. then you can make your own lunch or dinner plan. But five ninety five for, for three, three nights, nights, yeah, great, for great two deal. people. So and, that's and then less you look two hundred bucks a night. Exactly right. You look if you stay flexible, travel uh, midweek versus a week. Weekend uh, and three nights easier to do when, to, uh, when you're in the Cabo because it's probably a two and a half hour flight from right here. Okay, okay so I feel like I found my first destination there in the video. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah perfect. The Harper. pool looks good. That you can pool. wear heels in that pool. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. Great eating, too. And, and by the way, like you mentioned, breakfast in the morning, you're close to Cabo San Lucas, so you can go downtown and plenty of dining options uh, there, of course, as well. Okay, perfect. For uh, the city folks, or if you want to go to a city, Mexico City, I love this spot yeah. so much. You've got a great deal. And listen, foodies will tell you, Mexico City is just bursting with some of the great uh, great dining options. This is a place called the Andaz Mexico City Condesa. Uh, it is in the uh, Condesa neighborhood, which is very uh, art deco, very hip. Uh, and this is a hotel that opened up just in January. So brand new, five-star, very sleek, very sexy spot to be. Puts you also close to a neighborhood, neighborhood called Roma, which has got great nightlife and great restaurants, great shopping. Uh, five uh, 
25 for uh, three nights here. Wow. Uh, That's and again, gorgeous. this is a luxury uh, hotel. It's going to be very popular over the summer months. But again, midweek travel. And if you can push your, your travel to maybe late summer into fall, you'll find some nice availability and some, some good rates there as well. Well, location two found for my video. There you go. There, there you go. Yeah. Like, Hopping around. And that's a beautiful contemporary room as well. So is it true that on the Travel Zoo website, Mexico is yeah. the number one destination that is searched? Italy is like a distant second, but yeah, that's the second. Italy's popular, second, right? but, it's, uh, but there are twice as many searches that we see on average every month for Mexican destinations over the number two spot, which is, in fact, uh, Italy. It just speaks to the fact that as, e even with these security concerns, I think the American travel, we're just savvier. We're being more careful and more aware of where we're going. But the value uh, factor is, is just great south of the border. Access is great. You've got a lot of com competition among airlines. So getting down there can be uh, affordable. You can do it as just... A solo, you can do it, which is, and that's a segment of the, of the industry that's really growing, that solo travel sector. You can do it as a couple, you can do it as a family of five, like we are, uh, and, uh, and still find some, some great values. The dining scene has gone up in places like Puerto Vallarta, Mexico City. So it's, uh, it's really, uh, and it's benefiting from some great U.S. investment as well. So beyond just those core uh, tourist centers, you're seeing some fantastic uh, landmark access and some great new experiences down there. And again, the, the bottom line, the dollar's still quite strong against the, the uh, Mexican and peso. it's close by, too. I mean, you jump Easy on a access. plane, and an hour yeah. and a half later, you're in Mexico City or PV. Gabe Saglier, great to see you. Are we going? Let's go. We can be there by dinner time. I think we can be there for a, yes. A trip for three. Yeah. Are you down? A margarita for dinner. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Gabe. Hey, good to see you guys. It's great to see you. Have fun in Europe with your family, we'll too. We will. Well deserved. His picture. oldest is off to college very, very soon. There you go. Congrats. Thanks. Hey, for a link to find these deals, you can visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv.